Welcome to this introduction to the Intelligent Email Marketing Service. First, you're probably asking yourself why you should use this uh, service. The main reasons are that you're going to sell more to your customers and you're going to communicate better than ever. And how are you going to do that? Well, there are a variety of sophisticated tools built into this service. Shortly, we'll go through the process of actually creating an email campaign and sending a message. We'll also take a look at some of the reports that get generated by the email marketing system. And we'll also look at some of the tools that really make this an exceptional email marketing system. The Intelligent Email Marketing Service includes unbeatable deliverability. What's deliverability? Well, it's actually getting your email to your customer's inbox and actually having them read that. Many email marketing services like Constant Contact promise to be inexpensive. However, it's really a false economy if your message doesn't get delivered and read. The Intelligent Email Marketing Service makes sure that your messages get delivered and read by giving you a dedicated IP address to send your messages from, by giving you tools to make sure that your message doesn't get detected as spam by spam filters, and third, by aggressively cleaning your list and making sure that dead and invalid email addresses are no longer sent to. A second key aspect of the Intelligent Email Marketing Service is that it's integrated with AbleCommerce 7. And it's not just email addresses that get sent up into the email marketing system. It's also customer and order data. So this opens the door to a lot of possibilities as a marketer. You can target email messages in a variety of ways. For example, you could create an abandoned basket email and have that uh, go out every day. Or you could choose to send a mailing to everybody who had bought, for example, shoes in October in Illinois. So if you can imagine your products and the data that you've gotten with your orders, both customer contact data and product data, and using that you can now really precisely target customers with a really very specific message. Having created some really targeted emails with the integration we just talked about, for example, an abandoned baskets email or a 30-day request for product review, we can also automate those emails. So now we can take that abandoned basket email and automate it and have it go out automatically every morning. Or we could also uh, take a look at all the orders that had been placed 30 days ago and automatically have an email go to those customers asking them for a product review. Let's take a quick overview of the system and uh, then we'll go ahead and get into actually creating an email message and sending one. This is our intelligent email marketing dashboard. From here we can manage our subscriber lists, create and send messages, create reports, manage our social networking, set up triggers and autoresponders and more. We won't have time to cover all of that today, but we can certainly do that individually if you'd like to just ask us for uh, further details. Let's start by taking a look at the subscriber lists and how to manage them. In the Subscribers tab, we have a variety of list management tools. Here we can edit contact data as well as manage the lists all together. By default, we see our list of subscribers. We can edit them and drill down and look for the more detail on them. But first, let's take a look at the Lists tab. Lists are simply subgrouping of subscribers. For example, here we have the email newsletter with 75,000 members. And a little further below, we can see the live stream fashion show only has six members. You can create as many lists as you want, and each can have as many members as you'd like. The Intelligent Email Marketing System transfers 47 fields of data from Able Commerce into the email system. Here we'll take a look at the fields. You can see customer contact information, custom fields, which can pull almost any kind of data from Able Commerce if configured, yours order totaled, days since last login, abandoned baskets, and data from the last 10 orders, including the order date and the SKUs ordered, as well as the product names. All of this data can be used to target your email message and to filter the people receiving this e your email message. Next, let's take a look at the reporting. Here on the reports page, we can see all our recent blasts. 
Let's take a look at the most recent one, the one for our new mobile commerce plugin. We can quickly see that 5,598 people were sent the message and that 84% or 4,712 received it. Uh, 866 messages bounced, 729 people viewed it, and there were 90 clicks through to our site. 106 people unsubscribed. Let's drill into the reporting and see what other information we can find. Here we get a summary of what we've just seen. Again, the number of unique viewers, people click through, uh, the most popular links that people selected. We can actually drill in and see who actually viewed uh, the message. Here we see the actual contact information. We also get a delivery report that provides detailed reporting on what happened uh, to the messages that didn't get delivered. What this is useful for is helping determine what we need to change or improve in uh, the content of our message uh, to make it more deliverable. For example, here we can see that of the rejected messages, 34% were bad mailboxes. By the way, the intelligent email marketing system keeps cleaning your list. So if you have uh, a hard bounce, uh, for a bad domain, in this case, that email subscriber will be immediately removed from the list. If you have a soft bounce, for example, a spam-related rejection, you can set the number of times that it bounces before being removed from the list. More detailed information is available in the reporting. For example, when people viewed the report, When they clicked, what did they look at? And for the people who are unsubscribing, when did they unsubscribe? And again, we can even drill in and take a look and see who unsubscribed. As promised, we're going to go through the process of creating an email message, a campaign, and actually sending that. First, we start by getting into the Create Send tab. Here we can see the web to market uh, messages that have been sent out recently. And what we're going to do is edit the October newsletter and start the process of uh, sending a November newsletter. We can create whole new uh, messages starting with either templates built into the system or by adding a, an HTML template you create on your own. But for uh, today's demo, let's go ahead and start with the template we have from October and edit it. Now let's use the WYSIWYG editor just to make it easy. Here we can edit the message. For example, let's say we want to change this and say that uh, we're going instead going to talk about how wonderful intelligent email marketing is. And we can edit our content here. Let's go ahead and change this link. Well, that's good for now. Let's go ahead and save this. This is now the November newsletter. And scrolling down, let's continue. You also get to create a plain text version of the message for folks that don't have uh, browsers or email clients that will support uh, HTML. 
for now we're going to skip past that. And now we can go ahead and actually send the HTML, send the email message. Now you have to have the from information. This is for can spam compliance. We'll keep the reply to the same and continue. Next we have the list that we want to target. For our purposes we're just going to send a test blast. You can go ahead and do the count and see that only nine people are going to get that. Let's continue. And let's go ahead and create a subject here. Let's call it November Newsletter. If we'd like, we can go ahead and personalize this by dropping in some of the data that we pulled from Able Commerce. Let's go ahead and put the first name in the message subject and continue. The message is now ready to send. We have some options here. We can uh, track our click-through activity. We can integrate our email message with Google Lytics. If we're ready, we can go ahead and send now, or we could schedule the blast for any time in the future. Let's go ahead and send it now. That's it. We've created a message and sent it. Thanks for watching this video. You probably have more questions. If so, please visit our website or give us a call. We'll be glad to help.